The William Mary women's soccer team picked up three CAA points with a 2-1 conference victory over Elon Friday night at Albert Daly Field. I think we, we had a fairly poor first half. Um, I think it was great that we didn't give anything up and obviously we're able to regroup and come out really strong in the second half. I think we were much better with the ball um, and created a lot more dangerous chances. Um, but I think Elon was a really good team. They're a young team and they gave us uh, they gave us a lot to deal with tonight. After an uneventful first 45 minutes, both teams provided excitement in the second half. William Mary jumped on the board first in the 52nd minute when redshirt junior Sarah Segan played a cross back to the penalty spot where freshman Grace Santos was waiting. Santos settled the pass before unleashing a shot inside the right post for her first career marker. Elon would find the equalizer in the 78th minute. Lauren McKeever caused a turnover before sliding a diagonal ball into the area where Tori Baliaco redirected it into the back of the net. However, the Tribe would have the last laugh as again Segan sparked the offense with a give-and-go with senior Mackenzie Cober. Kobe Barrett shot with the Elon keeper charging her to give the Tribe a 2-1 cushion with just five minutes to play. I mean, Segan played a great ball and really... I credit the entire team to getting me into that position. I'm happy to finish for everyone, but I knew how badly we needed that and to not go into overtime with having a strong game against JMU on Sunday. So I'm just really happy I could put it away for the team. The two goals second half provided a common theme for the Tribe as William & Mary scored its 12th and 13th second half goal of its 17 goals scored this season. Second half is when we really know it's crunch time and we're just a really united team on and off the field and we're really strong supporting each other and I think that second half is where it really shows that. You hate to say you're a second half team but it, you know we've been pretty lucky in not giving up too much in the first half and then just kind of regrouping and whether it's fitness or just you know getting our game legs or just getting into a rhythm it just seems like in the second half we've been a bit sharper. William & Mary will look to move its unbeaten streak to four straight matches as it plays host to second place and in-state rival James Madison on Sunday, October 14th. Kickoff between the Drives and Dukes is set for 2 p.m. Uh, I think it'll be a great in-state uh, conference rival type of battle. Um, they obviously are doing really, really, really well and are on a, a, a roll, and so I think it's going to be a really competitive uh, CIA battle like they all are.